This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. Of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation shall have a new birth of freedom. Symbolism will become something new, have new meaning. Hi, from Hi, from family. I just met them. The land in Washington can be a very mean place. You don't know about that, Jeff. A nasty place. The false accusations that were made about him by Senator Tester. From a great state, I don't think that state is going to put up with it. These were false accusations about a great man. Make statements of things that most people said never happened, never even happened. Calling them names was, to me, a disgrace, an absolute disgrace. You don't know about that, Jeff. Mean place. You don't know about that, Jeff. A nasty place. The false accusations that were made about him by Senator Tester from a great state. I don't think that state is going to put up with it. These were false accusations about a great man. Make statements of things that most people said never happened, never even happened. Calling them names was to me Brian Cornell at Target? At Target, right? Some excellent people, some very political people. Some people that uh, a thing like that wouldn't happen, or if it did happen, I guess, you know, handle it somewhat differently. Um, but we have many people that want that job. With the Russian collusion hoax, it's a hoax. We can fire them so fast almost as fast as they fire people in Germany. We'll get rid of them. And I will tell you, we're getting choice. We're putting choice in very, very strongly. We have tremendous support in this. Can't get to a doctor for various reasons. They go end up dying from it. So we're going to, uh, we're, I'm very proud of what we've done. And I will tell you, your new head of the VA is going to be very exceptional. We have some exceptional people that want to do the job. For a one billion dollar embassy, and I had my name half signed. Then I noticed the figure, and I didn't. I never got to the word Trump. I had Donald signed, but I never got to the word Trump. A nasty place. What's this one billion? He said, I can build it for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I said, What? He said, I can build it for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. The embassy. We have a building, we have the site, we already own the site, we own the building. I can take a corner of the building and for $150,000, we can fix it up, make it beautiful, open our embassy. Instead of in 10 years from now, we can open it up in three months. And that's what we did. But I said, David, let's not go from a billion dollars to 150,000. Let's go to three, 400,000. And that's what we did. We, we take a piece of the building, it's going to be beautiful and it'll be somewhat temporary but it could be for many years because by the time they build it the other way it's going to be many many years they were looking for sites we already have a site and we have a great site the site's better than any thing you could imagine but that's the way government works they're going to spend a billion dollars and we're going to spend much less than a half a million could have done it for much less let's make it really nice so that's what it is uh, i may go very proud of it Literally, they were going a tiny, tiny fraction of that. But let's make it really nice. So that's what it is. A nasty place. Nice. Maybe it'll be nicer than a billion dollar building. Okay? Uh, for the chance, so I wanted to ask about the Iran nuclear deal. You just heard President Trump say that Iran will not be restarting the nuclear program. You can bank on it. 
Do you fear that if the U.S. backs out, that Iran will restart their nuclear program? And also, you're the second European Union leader, or European leader, to stop here at the White House this week. Uh, what improvements did you recommend to the president uh, that needs to be changed in order to keep the U.S. in the deal? Because you've exposed the system for some horrible things. I've had it happen to me. I set out my position, and that is that I believe that um, obviously the, this agreement is anything but perfect. It will not solve all the problems with Iran. It is one piece of the mosaic, one building block, if you like, on which we can build up this structure. Um, and that um, uh, when the United Kingdom, uh, uh, France and Germany worked together with the American colleagues, uh, uh, this was brought about, and uh, we will now see what's sort of decisions are made by uh, American partners. I said that the whole of the region obviously is of prime importance to us because it's not a thousand kilometers away um, as it is the case, for example, between the USA and, and Syria. But uh, Syria and Iran are countries that are right on our doorstep. So we had tremendous success on The Apprentice. And when I ran for president, I had to leave the show. That's when I knew for sure I was doing it. And they hired a big, big movie star, Arnold Schwarzenegger, to take my place. And we know how that turned out. The ratings went right down the tubes. It's been a total disaster. And Mark will never, ever bet against Trump again. And I want to just pray for Arnold, if we can, for those ratings, okay?